A man's ethical behavior should be based effectually on sympathy, education, and social ties and needs. No religious basis is necessary. Man would indeed be in a poor way if he had to be restrained by fear of punishment and hope of reward after death. The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Intelligent life on other planets. I'm not even sure there is on earth. Curiosity is more important than knowledge. I think 99 times and find nothing. I stop thinking, swim in silence, and the truth comes to me. I am a Jew, but I am enthralled by the luminous figure of the Nazarene. No one can read the Gospels without feeling the actual presence of Jesus. The prestige of government has undoubtedly been lowered considerably by the prohibition law. For nothing is more destructive of respect for the government and the law of the land than passing laws which cannot be enforced. The further the spiritual evolution of mankind advances, the more certain it seems to me that the path to genuine religiosity does not lie through the fear of life, and the fear of death, and blind faith, but through striving after rational knowledge. It is better to believe than to disbelieve, in doing you bring everything to the realm of possibility. I don't pretend to understand the universe, it's much bigger than I am. Something deeply hidden had to be behind things. One had to cram all this stuff into one's mind for the examinations, whether one liked it or not. This coercion had such a deterring effect on me that, after I had passed the final examination, I found the consideration of any scientific problems distasteful to me for an entire year. We sleep one third of our lives away. I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. The definition of genius is taking the complex and making it simple. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. The fanatical atheists are like slaves who are still feeling the weight of their chains which they have thrown off after hard struggle. They are creatures who, in their grudge against traditional religion as the opium of the masses cannot hear the music of the spheres. The value of a man should be seen in what he gives and not in what he is able to receive. Creativity is the residue of time wasted. There comes a time when the mind takes a higher plane of knowledge but can never prove how it got there. In order to be an immaculate member of a flock of sheep, one must above all, be a sheep. Many of the things you can count, don't count. Many of the things you can't count, really count. Why is it that no one understands me and everybody likes me? But without deeper reflection one knows from daily life that one exists for other people first of all for those upon whose smiles and well-being our own happiness is wholly dependent, and then for the many, unknown to us, to whose destinies we are bound by the ties of sympathy. Everyone who is seriously involved in the pursuit of science becomes convinced that a spirit is manifest in the laws of the universe a spirit vastly superior to that of man, and one in the face of which we with our modest powers must feel humble. 
I do not believe in the God of theology who rewards good and punishes evil. My God created laws that take care of that. His universe is not ruled by wishful thinking, but by immutable laws. Honestly, I cannot understand what people mean when they talk about the freedom of the human will. I have a feeling, for instance, that I will something or other, but what relation this has with freedom I cannot understand at all. I feel that I will to light my pipe and I do it, but how can I connect this up with the idea of freedom? What is behind the act of willing to light the pipe? Another act of willing? Schopenhauer once said, Der Mensch kann was er will, er kann aber nicht wollen was er will, man can do what he will but he cannot will what he wills. The fear of death is the most unjustified of all fears, for there's no risk of accident for someone who's dead. I am not more gifted than the average human being. If you know anything about history, you would know that is so what hard times I had in studying and the fact that I do not have a memory like some other people do. I am just more curious than the average person and I will not give up on a problem until I have found the proper solution. This is one of my greatest satisfactions in life solving problems and the harder they are the more satisfaction do I get out of them. Maybe you could consider me a bit more patient in continuing with my problem than is the average human being. Now, if you understand what I have just told you, you see that it is not a matter of being more gifted but a matter of being more curious and maybe more patient until you solve a problem.